Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Oxygen Not Included. Today, I've got an awesome episode for you, or at least an episode that I think is going to be absolutely awesome. So you guys were commenting on this episode a little bit earlier. Check this comment out here. So Dayon right here says, at, at 15, 16, when I was showing this little system right back here, he's like, did he just build an elevator that could maybe move duplicates up and down? And then Zarquan is down here, you know what? Maybe you could use this for a freight elevator, vertical, or a conveyor belt horizontally. And that spurred like a whole long conversation about that sort of door things. And also, Michael over here was like, I know there are probably better ways of moving materials around your base, but what, some of the ideas of automating the material movements is like a poor man's conveyor. So we could use gravity, right, to drop it down, but what happens if you wanted to move it horizontally? So that's what we're gonna look at today. We're gonna make some conveyors and potentially even an elevator for moving product around for our massive mining operations. So check this out right here. You know how these doors work. We've seen this before, but let me just show you again once the game runs again. So these doors here, come on, move. There we go. <laughs> Move to actually elevate gas. And the reason that they do this is because these doors displace the gas from that, you know, wherever they are, and it goes to the open side of the door. So this always wants to pump upwards. We did the same thing with liquid, and you can, you can actually run this in the opposite direction to pump things downwards. That also works side to side, as we've tried to do with some doors, creating mechanical airlocks and things of that nature. But one thing that you guys were really keen to pick out here is that if I were to take some material, like this little chunk of copper right now, and if I were to kind of drop this in here, check it out. So it goes down here, but if you look really closely, check it out. It's moving all the way up to the top. So yes, that's what we're going to look at today. We're going to make some crazy uh, conveyor belts and potentially an elevator just to see if we can come up with some fun systems to move product around your base without having to use duplicates to do it. All right, so I was playing around with this a little bit before I started the episode, and this is like kind of my basic circuit for an idea that I can actually use as a conveyor linearly back and forth. So you can see right now I have a very, very simple circuit set up. So I just have a, an XOR gate with the switch on, which essentially lets this whole thing run. Otherwise, it stops and it stops open. Now, that runs through a couple of buffer gates and then a filter gate so that it just alternates the two doors back and forth. Now we can flip whichever one is first, and then we just connect every other door back to that first initial signal. Very, very simple. I believe setting up a, you know, a conveyor system ought to be very simple. So that's what I've come up with right there, but there we'll, we'll explore some other options as well, if I can think of any other by the time I'm done. But you can see that these two doors here it has three states, so everything is open, and then we close this door, and then we close that door. And what this allows us to do, at least in this arrangement here, is if I were to drop some copper ore here on top, and then drop another one, you'll see it drops down when the door opens, and then as you follow it here, it kind of bounces up and to the right. So this conveyor works by moving everything to the right. There's a second benefit to this. Check this out. So if I have some copper ore here, and then I throw down some more copper ore. What we'll see is we've we've combined that material together. So well, maybe that copper ore is not the best example. Let me do it with just the, some copper here. So there's a chunk of copper, and I'll add a little bit of copper to that. And then if I put in some more copper right here and then drop another copper on top of that, what we have is we have two spots of copper. And as this moves through the conveyor system, we can see that the copper is all moving to the right. And as it nears the end of the conveyor here, you should see that they drop onto the same tile and all of that material stacks up into the exact same spot. So that's 500 kilograms of copper right there, which is awesome. <laughs> so for all of you Factorio players out there right now, I think you're gonna absolutely love setting up crazy things like this because yes, we can now move product from one side to the other back and forth. Now I know what you're thinking. Building all of these mechanized airlocks is going to take a lot of material. This is 400 kilograms per door, just to kind of move whatever material we have here from one side to the other. Obviously you can deconstruct this and then, you know, move it to wherever you actually need it. I'm not saying it's the most practical thing to build, but it's kind of cool. <laughs> the other thing though is that we do have pneumatic doors. So what happens if I 
try to make this out of pneumatic doors. Because as we've learned here, pneumatic doors have an automation ability that's the exact same as the mechanized airlocks. Now these are 100 kilograms per door, so you can actually make four times as many. But does it work? Well, you can see here we have some copper. If I can click on it, you can't ever click on anything that's behind a door. Maybe if it pops up. There we go, I was able to click on the copper ore. What we can see here though is that the pneumatic doors don't work that way. They're not at least moving something from one side to the other. No, it just kind of traps it. So that's what we see a lot of when it comes to like hatches and stuff getting stuck inside of that pneumatic door. So pneumatic doors don't look like they want to convey side to side. However, it looks like the copper ore or whatever it was, was actually bouncing up above this. So this might actually work for an elevator that's only one tile wide. Let's give that a try. All right, so here we go. Let's run the experiment. We'll just flick this on for a little bit. All these doors open up. Ah, but it's not bringing that material up. Darn it. Maybe we just gotta roll with mechanized airlocks the whole time. Oh, it really does not wanna go up with these doors placed vertically like that. Let's put them on their side and see what happens. As we saw below, that actually seemed to work. You know what? It looks like a pneumatic door might work on its side. I saw the material jump up. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Plug this sucker in. See? Look at that! Oh, that... That material wants to go. <laughs> Look at this madness. Flick these doors on so fast. Look at it go! This is clearly a mistake, but <laughs> look at it go. This stuff's, now that, that piece is a little glitched out, but. All right, if you can put up with this noise, look at this go. Okay, some things are kind of stuck. Oh, there it goes, there it goes. <laughs> what is even going on right now? Somebody find me a duplicate. I want to see if this works as a duplicate elevator. Well, let's bring in a dead duplicate first to see if this works. So this is if Nicola. There you go. Mmm, it's having a hard time bringing that duplicate up. Maybe I got to work on the automation to help it out. So far, this elevator cannot raise the dead, but what about the living? No. Not the living either. All right, that was entertaining, but let's make this slightly less annoying and actually make it work here. Oh, you can take these all the way down to 0.1 second. Ooh, I didn't realize that. Let's drag this sucker down. All right, so this should be one ridiculously fast elevator, if it works. This is normal speed, here we go. <laughs> I think it might be a little bit too fast. But this is awesome! <laughs> what a great idea! Oh, you guys come up with some good stuff. Okay, here we go. We're gonna slow this down a little bit. Alright, so if I slow this down, well, we can see that the material, real quickly, it popped up for a little while but it's not staying there. So these pneumatic doors are not working, which is a bummer. Unless you make them like actuate very, very quickly in almost that kind of glitchy form, then it works. But in this form right here, it doesn't work. So for the sanity of our ears, I'm gonna go ahead and just go with the mechanical airlocks. You know, you gotta be a really rich entrepreneur to be able to afford such an elevator inside of your base. but. You know, maybe at the end of the game, you know, what else do you gotta build? Check it out, look at it, it's totally elevating. Okay, so here we go. Now we have a method for moving stuff to the side and we have a method for moving stuff vertically. <laughs> okay, so now that it's at the top, I gotta, I gotta push it off to the side, right? <laughs> I mean, it's... It's honestly so easy. All, all I'm doing is adding more and more buffer gates. Like, I feel like half the automation I've done in this game has been done with buffer gates. Hey, just saying, whatever works, works. That's what I'm gonna go with. 
So I've dropped these all down to one second. So hopefully this will bring up all the material, then it'll move from this tile right here to the tile to the right, and then from that one right there. Here we go. So let's follow this little chunk of copper all the way up. So up it goes, and then it will come in contact with this door. Boop, moves to the right, and moves to the right. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, you know what is one thing we didn't test? And we gotta test this. Can this run faster than one second? Because uh, the only thing better than a full conveyor system for moving all the stuff around your base is a really fast conveyor system moving all the stuff around your base. So here we go, this is a point one second. Can you tell I really like this episode? This is really, this is both like ridiculous <laughs> and something that I just want around my base. Like I don't want to sweep anymore. I hate cleaning, I hate sweeping stuff up. If I'm not tripping over it, then it's probably close enough to where it needs to be. Here we go. Look at this go! <laughs> and this is at normal speed, right? Watch how fast this goes when we speed it up to 3x. Oh, that is awesome. Okay. Yeah, let's drop some more ore in here. See if I can get something to pick up. Okay, so these doors here, they outrun the ore. As you can see, it just can't, it can't relocate fast enough. Okay, so let's run a quick experiment with these doors cycling back and forth. So I have an automation wire up here. I'm just going to deconstruct this so it drops a lot of material down on top of these doors and we'll see which way it flows. So let's just click on this middle one to follow it. And what we can see here is that this is moving everything to the right of the screen or the opposite direction of what I'm trying to point. Everything's mirrored, so it's going that way. Hmm. So right now I have a chunk of copper, you can just see it right there, and it's bouncing back and forth between two spots. So that tells me that I'm probably gonna have to make this a little bit more complicated if I want to make sure that stuff can go to the left. Yeah, because you can see this arrangement here, everything's moving to the right. All right, so here's what I'm going to do. Yes, now I'm thinking. Send a signal wire right here and then send another signal wire right there boom okay sweet so now all I need is a wire automation wire bridge right there and right there and then I don't even need a bridge to go right here ha look at this magic Ooh. <laughs> And I've set up the conveyor to move from left to right. Crap! Wait a minute, wait a minute, just, just, no, everybody hold on, I got this. I got this. That wire to here, to there. This wire. Boom! Check that out! Let's send some friendly little copper down on this stuff and just see where it all goes. Okay, let's follow the arrow. It drops down, has nowhere to go. And it went out to the right! No! Bad copper. Wait a minute, what'd I do wrong? <laughs> I see you reaching for that keyboard. Alright, here we go. And then this one... I tell you what, trying to commentate and make some sense while you're trying to figure out logic gates and all this fun stuff, uh, they just, in my brain, they don't mix. So, I'm gonna do what I do, and then I'm gonna show you what I've done. And we're gonna go with that. Okay, so here we go. Let's run an experiment. I'm going to deconstruct all of this right here, drop a bunch of copper little ore on all of this. There we go, it falls in. And all of this material looks like it's moving to the left. Let's just clear, clear all of that out. And there we go, 35 kilograms of copper ore. All right, so for the grand finale, let's go ahead and try to make a continuous loop so that we can convey things or convey copper to the left and then up and then across to the right and then right back down so that that ore just continues to go around and around. All right, so here are all of my doors. Look at it, it's gonna go this way, then it's gonna go up 
and hopefully come right back over and then gravity's going to drop it back down. So going down as far as a an elevator is concerned, well, gravity works pretty good for that. So I figured there's no point in making something that goes down. But hey, if you want to make a lower rater, go right ahead and you can make one of those. Hmm, all right, so there's my signal to go from right to left, but now I gotta go up. So really, I wanna kick this off by having this door open. So I'm gonna kick this off with a knot. All right, so that door will start off open. Dink. And then a whole lot more buffer gates for the win. Here we go. Let's see if this conveyor system here can move material from right over here, or well, anywhere, and up this elevator and then convey it back over to the right. If so, then we can move stuff anywhere in our base through the use of elevators and conveyors. It's pretty ridiculous. I doubt many people will make this, but it's, I wanna see it work. <laughs> Here we go, we'll just make a bunch of automation wires. It's not like I haven't deleted a few of these already, so there we go. Just deconstruct this stuff right here, deconstruct that stuff as well. Everything here, you can see the automation loops, really not that complicated, but we're just gonna turn it on with this switch down here on the bottom right. It's kind of noisy, I will warn you, it's a little bit annoying, but I'm gonna try to follow that chunk of copper here. So let's turn it on and then follow that chunk of copper. Here we go. So it looks like it's working well down here. We can see that it's collecting the amount of copper we have. We're up to 200 kilograms now, it keeps going up. All right, so now we've made it over here to the elevator. It's moving it's on its way up. This is, this is pretty ridiculous, but I'm glad it's working. Hey, it worked! Look at it go! <laughs> okay, so there we go. We've made it all the way to the right, and it drops back down. And here we go, once again. All right, so I'm going to speed it up and back out a little bit. Because <laughs> this stuff is ridiculous. I just want to see if it keeps working. Oh, oh, nope. It had a moment there where it kind of... I think the speed of the game might play into it a little bit. If we slow it down, let's see if it drops on top of those anymore. Nope. So there we go. See, now it's not jumping on top of the doors. <laughs> that is awesome. What a awesome idea you guys have come up with there when you saw kind of how that gas pump was working. This is ridiculous. I love it. <laughs> oh no, it dropped down to the bottom left. Oh well. At some point though, it will find its way to the top right, even if it doesn't work perfectly. I mean, if you want it to work perfectly, you could just make these doors close like this. I mean, that works too. On one final note, let's see what happens if we drop some liquid in here. We got some water, right? We're gonna flood the crap out of this. Now we know we comp can compress water. I don't know if we're gonna be able to <laughs> Pump it over here to the left. I don't think this is quite set up to actually move liquid. I think all we've done is managed to make a wave tank. So that's pretty awesome. So this really doesn't actually move liquid around, at least to the left and up the conveyor. It probably will move it to the right, though. No? <laughs> it just moves it all over the place. <laughs> so really this is a little bit more useful for material use unless you can come up with different arrangements for how these doors work. But I've got one final chunk of inspiration to leave you guys with. Come on, let me clean it up here. Check this out. Now, we've seen this before. Really, can you build on top of doors? Well, not really, but if you put them on their side, check this out. You know where I'm going with this. Some of you guys have experimented with this. Fertilizer, synthesizer, right? It says, must be built on solid ground, but watch this. If you hover over the doors, you put them on their side, boom, check that out. What do we have down here in automation? Clock sensor. You get where I'm going with this. 
think about it guys comment down there below and i'll see you again next time if i've earned your subscription then thank you so much for that let me know what you thought about this down there in the comment section below and i'll see you again next time if i've earned your subscription thank you so much for that i think i said that about twice but you know what this is awesome stay awesome guys peace brothgar out you know what we forgot to put a duplicate in here all right rowan here you go, buddy. Find your way out. Aw, oh, the door won't close on him. He's just stuck. But what if you're over here, buddy? No. Nope. Yeah, what if you're in this spot? Go to the left, go to the left. No! Okay, there you go. This makes for a very bad elevator. What if you drop him up here, though? What if he just gets really confused? <laughs>